fields, forests and lanes ending up back here at the finishing line. Good luck, everyone. Right then. That's the speakers all fixed up and ready to go. Oh, the sound quality this year is going to be top-notch. It'll be the best fun-run commentary ever. And we've even got our eye in the sky, Tom Thomas, giving us a live video feed so we can follow the runners all the way around the course. <laughs> right, let's get this show on the road. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce my co-commentator, five-time fun-run champion, Ellie the Eagle Phillips. Hooray! Thank you, Mike. I'm sad not to be taking part this year, but hopefully my sister Jodie can bring home the trophy. Very nice, very nice. Ponty Pandy Fun Runners, it's time to take your positions on the starting line. Don't worry, Norman. I'll be with you every step of the way. But I've never even finished the fun run before. Just remember your training. Keep your breathing steady. In through the nose, out through the mouth. <laughs> OK, the runners are ready to go. Race marshals, the runners are in position. Are you ready? Fireman Sam, ready. PC Malcolm, ready. Firefighter Penny, ready. Right, let's get started. It's OK, boy, it's OK. Uh, oh, one moment. A minor technical problem. And we're back. Ellie, would you like to start the race? I'd love to. Ready, runners? On your marks. Get set. Go! And they're off. Look at that start from Jody. She was like lightning out of the blocks. Jody and Christina zoom into an early lead. And there goes Station Officer Steel. But what's that? He's been overtaken by Dillis. Breathe, Norman. Breathe. Remember how I taught you? <laughs> oh, that's not helping! There's no breath left! I've run out! No, Norman. In through the nose and out through the mouth, remember? <sighs> oh, yes! I've got it! Look at them all go. It's certainly going to be a close one. Easy, please. This is the Ponty Pandy Fire Department. Oh, bother. Well, I'm looking for the ancient Ponty Pandy Way, an old track that the ancient people of Ponty Pandy used to travel along. Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. The ancient Ponty Pandy Way? Well, that sounds so exciting! Can we come? Of course you can. The more, the merrier. Brilliant! <gasps> more goosebumps! Follow me, my brave explorers! Um, Professor Pickles, that's the deep, dark woods. Shouldn't we find a nice, safe footpath instead? No, James. A real explorer knows that adventure always lies on the road less travelled. Onwards! I have a very important announcement to make. Ooh, has my new potato masher arrived? No, Elvis. Ellie! Ellie is wearing the new firefighter uniform. As you can see, it has the new modern-shaped helmet with neck protector and visor, nifty carabiner loops replace the utility belt, and it has a handy torch attached to the jacket. Oh, plus super high visibility stripes. Oh, it's so brilliant that Ellie's got a new uniform. <laughs> it's not just for Ellie, Elvis. We're all going to get the new uniform. <gasps> you mean we won't be wearing our old uniforms anymore? No, Elvis. But, but I like my old uniform. We've been through a lot of rescues together. But Elvis, look at this torch and all these amazing reflective stripes. Hmm, it, it looks very nice, Ellie, but I still like my old uniform more. Hmm. <laughs> I don't 
like spooky overgrown paths in the deep, dark woods. Aha! Uh -huh. Did you know the ancient people of Pontypandy used to navigate using the sun? And by looking at which side of the tree the moss is growing. But we've walked past that same tree four times, and I can't see any moss on it at all. And the sun has nearly gone down. Well... I don't think Professor Pickles knows where he's going. I really don't think he does. I'm thinking that by doing this drill at night, Elvis will realise just how useful his new uniform will be. Good idea, Penny. Right, firefighters, into the training tower. Aren't you my little sea spotter? I'm sure you will, Norman. Remember, rock pools are great places for spotting sea life. Plenty down that way. Right you are, Jodie. This way, Norman. Oh. Today we'll be practising the Ocean Rescue Scramble. Over to you, Penny. Thank you, sir. So we'll be seeing how fast we can get Titan, Neptune and Juno out on the water and ready to rescue. Roger, Roger that, Penny. Penny. Because, as I always say, the swifter the scramble, the faster the rescue. And today, we'll be aiming to complete the scramble in less than ten seconds. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> ten seconds, eh? Exciting! Now then, on your marks, everyone. And go! To open the hatch, sir? Do I? Where is he? Yes, I do. Not sure we made it in under ten seconds, sir. Um, <laughs> no. Ah! Oh, oh, ma'am, I'm hungry. Oh, is it picnic time yet? Not yet, Norman. Oh, look! I can see Charlie and Sarah. I think they found something. Oh! Hi, Dillis. We spotted a crab. Oh, a crab. Come on, Norman. Well done, Sarah. That's a full sheet. Let's hand in our clipboard and head home. They're handing in their clipboards already, Norman. Now, where's that crab gone? But I don't know. It's not here. Look! Crab tracks! Follow those claw prints! Come on, Norman! Ow! Hurry! We've got to find that crab! Oh. Ooh, we timed that well, Sarah. The tide's coming in. Right, let's try that again. But this time, Station Officer Steel, you'll be with Ben on Titan. Right you are. Oh, right you are. Sam, you'll be on Juno again. Hi, Christina. Are you sailing too? Not today, Jodie. I've got a special delivery for the rescue team. Have fun, Peter, but don't get too adventurous. I'll pick you up later. Welcome to the sailing club, Peter. This is Jodie, Charlie, Sarah and Norman. And that's Nipper. Hi, everyone. Really great to meet you. How are you with boats, Peter? Oh, I've sailed a little. Well, I've sailed lots. Stick with me and you'll be... Oh, no! Get off, Nipper! to thank me. There. That'll keep 
my sandwiches safe from Nipper. <laughs> You'll never find them here. There's the electric charging station for aircraft and ground vehicles. And over there is the new office and living area. Um, it's a very nice airport, Benny. But where's the aeroplane? Well, the new rescue plane is kept here, in this hangar. Ooh, let me see, let me see. <laughs> it looks like the new plane is so new, it hasn't even arrived yet. Yeah, Christina was flying it over this morning. I thought she'd be here by now. Oh, but where are the ground crew to help land the plane? <gasps> Maybe I could be the ground crew. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh um, I'll need something to wave. Uh, um, uh, oh, <laughs> perfect. Um, Elvis, I, I think you might need something a bit more, um, airporty. Right. We're going to sail over to Ponty Pandy Island and back again. Three people to each skiff. Come on, Peter. Let's go on this one. Ready? No, Norman, don't raise the sail until everyone's in the boat. But why? Wow! That's why. That's because you've never been chased down the street by one of his malfunctioning robotic dogs. I love that. Wow! What's this? That's my design for the Sparks Kite 2000. The biggest kite Ponty Pandy has ever seen. It's awesome. Unfortunately, Ponty Pandy never got to see it, because my dad never managed to make it fly. I tried everything. He just wouldn't fly. You know, with this design and a few small changes, I reckon I can make this work. Uh, you might have a bit of trouble. Every time I tried to launch it, it just flopped to the ground. Yeah, I remember that. Are you sure you can do it? Yeah, my sister's a pilot. Flying stuff runs in the family. Well, all the pieces are there. And if you do manage to make it fly, I'd really like to see it. 100%. I'll build it, I'll fly it, and I'll film it. And you two are going to help me. We are? <laughs> Brilliant! Uh, OK. But it won't be like the robotic dog thing, will it? Of course not, James. It's a kite! Nevertheless, just be a bit careful. When the wind catches a kite that size, it's got some pull on it, you know. We'll be fine, Mr Sparks. The Sparks Kite 2000 will fly. There we go. One new computer system downloaded. Well done, Ellie. I'm really looking forward to hearing the new emergency announcement voice. Me too. Whoa! There is like a totally radical emergency, dudes. Uh, is is that it? It can't be. Maybe we just need to do something to the voice setting. Hmm. Well, uh, let me just check the manual and we don't need a manual, Sam. All the instructions are built in. It'll be fine. I'll just give it a little <laughs> tweak. Wow! Uh, I, I think that's worse than the first one. Maybe we do need that manual. OK, team, are you ready? I think yes. so. Right. I've changed it so the air moving over the top moves faster than the air moving underneath. Oh. Oh. Um, it's very windy. And that's good, James. Right. Let's go for launch. Behold! The Spark Sky 2000! It's flying! <laughs> no need to thank me. Kind of team building exercise will the wild men be doing? 
Well, Sarah, as a team, we'll be walking from here to there. <laughs> oh, mate, that's not that far. Not exactly a big challenge for Team Wild, man. Ah, but that's where the teamwork comes in. We'll be taking this log with us, across the fields, over fences, and through the woods. Uh, that is one big log. Yeah, looks really heavy. <laughs> you better believe it. But if we work together and get that log to its destination, we'll be the most awesome team ever. That's if we can move it. So, stay tuned to Ponty Pandy Planet Online, where all the big stories happen. Go Team Wildman! Oh. Uh, will you please stop pulling when I'm pushing? But you're pivoting when I'm pulling. <laughs> Careful, you two! You're both twisting it when I'm turning. This isn't working. Put it down, put it down. Oh. We need to think about this. But, guys! Not really the great teamwork I was hoping for. Ladder high! Prepare to extend. Watching out for fingers and toes. Um, <coughs> Sarah, Mandy, I think you might learn a little bit more about teamwork if you film the firefighters instead of us. Hmm, uh, I think you might be right. Lower ladder to location. Uh, Station Officer Steele, is it okay if we film the drill? It's for the Ponty Pandy Planet. Oh, of course, yes. Anything for some good publicity. Ladder ready to climb. This is amazing. I feel a bit bad that we're not filming the wild men anymore. <laughs> Maybe we should stick to the firefighters for now. That's it. We're doing it. All at the same time, like a real team. Oh. 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 oh, that's it. I can't go any further. Ooh. Come on, you two. Keep going. Go, Team Wildman. <laughs> no, Moose. Tom is right. Oh, okay. We need to make a new dish, new ingredients, and lots more sauce. And this time, we'll make it smell really good. Ah, that should do it. Now, we just need to test the alarm. Can someone pass me a battery? Oh! oh. <laughs> Look at that one! <laughs> my old toy fire engine! <gasps> and my favourite boat! <laughs> Assistant James? Oh. James! Look at that one! <laughs> <sighs> I'm back! Guess how many smoke alarms I've fitted? <laughs> Elvis! Could you pass me a battery for this alarm, please? One sec, Kelly. Ooh, is that you as a baby, Sam? Oh, the little Sam. <laughs> we need to hurry, Norman. It's nearly closing time and we haven't sold a single bottle. The vegetables are ready, ma'am. Heat up the cooking oil, quick. And now the sauce. Uh, uh, oh, no. We've run out of sauce. There's plenty in the shop, Norman. Get a fresh bottle and fast. I'm on it, ma'am. Uh, which do we want, ma'am? Spicy or extra spicy? Oh, I didn't know there was a choice. What do you think, Norman? Um, I'd, I'd, I'd say um, the, the extra spicy. Oh, is that too much for the lunchtime crowd? Oh, ma'am, ma'am, fire! Fire? Where? Oh, oh! Oh! Fire! Fire! Help! <laughs> Norman! 
Norman? My Norman? I'm here, ma'am! There you are, Norman! Oh, oh, I'd better call the rescue team! A pan of spicy sauce has burst into flames and set fire to the cut price store. A pan of spicy sauce has burst into flames and set fire to the cut price store. You two. We're gonna go and get him. Jody! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, what was that? The boat's tangled in seaweed. Hang on, kids. Come on. Jody, what's happening? Don't worry, you two are safe. The boat just needs some help getting out of the seaweed. <sighs> but Ben is in danger. Better call the rescue team. Ben Hooper's foot is trapped in rocks on Ponty Pandy Island, and the tide is rising. Ben Hooper's foot is trapped in rocks on Ponty Pandy Island, and the tide is rising. And Jodie Phillips' boat is tangled in seaweed. Oh, no. And Jodie Phillips' boat is tangled in seaweed. We're going to need air support. Roger that, Penny. I'll call for Fire Swift. Christina. The rest of the team are heading for the cove on Ponty Pandy Island. That's as close as we can get without getting stuck ourselves. Christina, I need you to lower the harness. Roger that, Sam. Jordy, is the engine switched off? Yes, engine off. Great. Now tie this to your boat. We're going to pull you out of the seaweed. All clear, Penny. Shaft. That's why it said danger. Forget about that! How are we going to get out? We're stuck! Right then. Are we all here? Ooh, James and Peter aren't here. Oh. James! Peter! Oh dear. Better call the rescue team. Now you two. No bones and no balls. <laughs> so, let's start the sniffer dog training. Peter and James are missing in the mountains. We need to launch a search and rescue mission. Peter and James are missing in the mountains. We need to launch a search and rescue mission. Shadow, radar. <laughs> no training today. You need to be sniffer dogs for real now.
here forever. I've got fish fingers for tea. My heat sensors aren't picking up any lost children in the forest. Nothing in the mountains either. I'll go in lower. Ooh, I think they've picked up a scent. <laughs> Two should just call it a draw. What? Uh, the Phillips sisters never settle on a draw. There has to be a winner. Okay, um, so what if we made it a bit more difficult? See how you two deal with a moving target. I like that idea. Ha! Just wait till James sees this. He won't be on the cover of the magazine this time. Let's get this hat to the parade! Come on then, Norman! Oh! Uh, uh, I can't get it through the door! Push, Norman! Oh, ah, it's stuck in the door! Uh, Mandy, come back in and help me push! <laughs> I have to be on that magazine cover! Ah, uh, Norman, it's even more stuck now. But we have to get it out or I won't win the hat parade. <gasps> what was that? Oh. oh no! Fire! Better call the rescue team! Well, it will be very interesting to see how the sisters negotiate this. The flat's house is on fire with Norman and Mandy inside, and a giant hut is blocking the door. Nearly ready for tomorrow's opening, Sarah. Oh, but what if the snow machine doesn't work? If we don't have any snow, it'll never be a true wonderland. Don't worry, Sarah. Everything will be okay. It's the magic of the season. Ah, here you are. And you did it! Yes, but Dad said that we better turn it on gently and build up slowly. Just yes, in yes, case. yes. Come on, let's see if it works. Jingle, jingle. 
I must say, I'm beginning to feel quite Christmassy. And we're back. Peter and Sarah are on top of the supercharged snow machine that has blasted them out to sea. Oh no, Peter and Sarah are on top of a supercharged snow machine that has blasted them out to sea. I really should have seen that one come in. A giant dancing Christmas tree is destroying Ponty Pandy Wonderland and has set fire to the presents. Calmly and slowly. Sam, Ellie, Elvis, you put out those presents and we'll stop that Christmas tree. Roger that, Penny. Grab the fire extinguishers. Snowman, you're safe with me. Switch cannon to sticky foam. Roger that, Penny. And fire! I'm sorry, Penny. I never should have made the sound sensitivity capacitator so sensitive. I've no idea what you just said, Joe, but I'm sure you didn't mean to. Oh, so much for the magic of the season. It's all ruined. 
Um, d don't worry, Sarah. It it'll be okay. No, it won't, Norman. Yes, it will. No need to act up too much, Sam. It's only a drill. Oh, sorry, Helen. I thought it might make it more realistic. To the <laughs> ambulance! <laughs> Whoa, Elvis! <laughs> no one told me acting would hurt this much. Oh, sorry, Sam. Okay, Pioneers. You all know where we're going? To the Rocky Ridge. To practice mountain first aid in a real hiking location. I know everything about that. Thanks to my Pioneer's Book of First Aid. I know everything about that. Thanks to my Pioneer's <laughs> Norman, stop that. Now, come on, Pioneers. To the Rocky Ridge. Do you know what the most common cause of injury while hiking is? I do. It's wearing the wrong footwear. It's wearing the wrong Norman. OK, Elvis. You've got the patient in the ambulance. Next, you have to get them safely to the hospital. To the hospital! Whoa, 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 Elvis. When you're driving an injured person, being careful is more important than being fast. Sorry, Helen. It's OK, Elvis. I've got an idea that might help you slow down a bit. Ooh, fizzy pop! <laughs> I love fizzy pop! <laughs> it's not for you to drink, Elvis. Ooh. I want you to drive so smoothly and carefully that you don't spill a drop. Good luck, Sam. Thanks, Penny. I'll need it. Oh. Don't worry, Elvis. I'll get you another can of fizzy pop. And I'll get some dry pants. <laughs> oh. Do you know the difference between a contusion and a laceration? I do. I wish I'd never bought him that book for his birthday. <laughs> Huh. Do you know the eight different types of bone in the foot? I do. There's phalanges, metatarsals, naviculars. Will you please stop reading and watch where you're... Oh, ow, ow. Trevor, are you OK? No. I feel like I've broken all eight types of bone in my foot. Huh. Oh, no. Lead her down. Lead her down. Oh, uh... Bee stings, no breezes, stinging nettles. No. Calm down, James. But I can't find what you're supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, James, you look just like an action hero. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Would you like to be our first car wash customer? Oh, sorry, Sarah, but I've just had me van washed. And I have to say, Norman and Hannah did a grand job. Oh, yes! They've got a jet washer and everything. And they haven't got their foot stuck in a bucket. But we'll never get enough money to see the movie if they take all our customers. Sorry, kids. Business is business. Now, that drippy tap won't fix itself. I think we need to have a word with Norman and Hannah. OK, everyone. You all know your motivation. Body cams on. Let's make ocean rescue movie history. I think directing this ocean rescue video has really gone to station up as a seal's head. Come on, Ellie. Ready for our close up? And. Action. Remember, Sam, you're supposed to be lost at sea and need rescuing. Help! Help! I'm lost at sea and need rescuing. Now, Cridlington! I'm the king of the world! <laughs> Cut! Cut! Cridlington! All I can see is your nostril. And, and stop dangling there like a sack of potatoes. Oh, this is the worst ocean rescue video ever. You two! Stop washing cars at once! The car 
wash was our idea. No way! We want to see the new Flex Dexter film too, and we're going to buy popcorn and fizzy pop. <laughs> Norman, come on! Time is money. Stop talking and get waxing. They've got wax. We haven't even got clean water. Ha! It's not our fault your car wash is rubbish. We'll see about that, Norman Price, because we're going to, um... We're going to, uh... Set up our car wash right here. Yeah. Yeah. Then we'll see who gets the customers. Get him in the harness, Gridlington, and point your body cam at him while you're doing it. Uh, ooh, it's a bit tricky doing both, sir. Yeah. Uh, well, that's an interesting way of doing it. Give me distress, Sam. Um, help! I'm lost at sea and need rescuing. Behold, the Pyrotechnic Launch Module 2000. Wow! Look at all those fireworks! It's all fully Bluetooth, and this is the firing mechanism. O OK, Dad. You need to get it set up. Stop talking and get going. Don't rush me, Hannah. Creating a spectacular firework display takes time. How much time? Mm, about an hour. Ooh, in that case, I'll get out me barbecue. Stay there. But, but will we still have enough time to get to the public display? <laughs> I hope so. I was promised two firework displays tonight. Oh, I really hope my dad gets a move on. Fireworks can be very loud and take you by surprise. So, remember to stand back from them at all times. And if you don't like the bangs and flashes, you should stay indoors. So maybe that's where you should be tonight. Indoors. <laughs> don't worry, Uncle Sam. We'll make sure they stay inside. We're really good with animals. Come on, Nipper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we caught them, Uncle Sam. No, James. I don't think we did. These hot dogs are nice and, uh, um, crispy. Don't you worry your heads. There's more where they came from. Skiddly boo, boo, skiddly boo, woo, woo. Skiddly boo, skiddly boo. Now, does tube A slot into tube B or does B slot into D? Dad, it's been well over an hour. If we don't start soon, everyone's going to miss the public display. I'm nearly there. Just another half an hour or so. Well, in that case, second helpings, everyone. Plenty to go round. Please get your dad to hurry up. I can't eat any more burnt hot dogs. My mouth tastes like charcoal. Oh, get a move on. That was fun. Mm, not sure I'd call it fun, Sarah. But at least we got them indoors now. 